All right, so she was accepted to about four or five universities abroad and uh, top Ivy League schools in the United States. Um, and probably some people think maybe the best university in the world, Harvard. She's accepted to Harvard. And she's with me now. She's from Immaculate Conception High School for Girls. And uh, her name is Zaria Ferguson. A little bit upset with her because we were trying to keep a little secret with <laughs> school she was going to. All of a sudden, here comes Zaria with her big Harvard and the shirt. It's a nice shirt. <laughs> but we were trying to keep a secret. And they My sent bad. this to you. I did not get the memo. But they sent this to you. Yes, I did. Morning. Good Welcome. Morning. Congratulations. Thank you. Great to meet you. Thank um, you. First thing she tell me is that she's just enough. She said that. Second thing she tell me, she teach me a word. I was asking her a question and she said they are just regular degular. Um, I don't know how she have so much subject with words like that because it's not a good word. By the way, um, I said to her, how many ones you have? And she said, 15. I have that here. And I said, how many subjects you did overall? And she kind of looked at me and said, what? I said, how many subjects you did? So I said, all right, you have 15 ones. How many subjects you did? She just said, 15. Because <laughs> eh? I was wondering if I should mention the unit two subjects as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's such a, a, a show off. But listen to this, folks, because I don't know where she get time to do all this. She's deputy head girl. Um, she's prefect council. Mm -hmm. She's deputy grade captain, prefect, sub prefect, public relations officer. She was vice captain and PRO for the school's dance team, first <laughs> prize president for school's challenge quiz team. PRO for Heritage Club, Deputy Games Captain for Rose of Lima, and plenty, plenty more. In other words, she just enough. Basically. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. Congrats. Where this come from? Tell, tell me about a, a, a younger Zaria coming up. Where, where this, this academic brilliance came from, and why you thought you, you, you had to be so focused on stuff? Well, coming from an early age, I've always been very highly intrinsically motivated, so I've always been involved, I've always been striving to be the best me and to do the best in every single activity. And I think that has stuck with me throughout the years. And as you can see, even in the different activities that I'm doing, they're very diverse because right. I don't like being stuck in a box. I like exploring all my different interests. So whether it's performing arts and dancing, or it's STEM, or it's leadership and service, or it's even events planning and stuff like that. It is so fantastic. By the way, she was part of the Father Holong group. Um, she makes time to uh, be a French tutor. Yeah, French. Mm -hmm. She teaches in French. Uh, she's mentored. She prepared students with physical disabilities at the Abilities Foundation. Boy, you're so accomplished. <laughs> um, it doesn't seem like you're surprised, but are you surprised that you have done so wonderfully, right, coming all the way through? Not... Exactly. I'm more surprised that I was able to do all of that, actually. Just looking back at all my activities and seeing how much I was able to get done, I was like, wow, Zara, wow. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Well, I've been saying wow from, <laughs> from I started to prepare for this. I've been saying wow. Tell me the 10 ones in CSEM. Let me see if your okay. memory good. 10 okay. ones in CSEM. Put me on the spot now. Yep. Okay, that's fine. 10 ones so in So 10 CSEM. ones. So in grade 10, I did geography. One. One. Then in grade 11, I did... English A, Two, English B, G, mathematics, four, French, five, biology, six, chemistry, seven, physics, eight, information nine. technology. Nine, that. Nine. <laughs> Additional mathematics. Aye, ten. There you go. I was just going to say your memory, <laughs> not that good. Your failed memory. <laughs> really, because you got the ten. And Kim, the ones in Kim? Um, biology, chemistry, physics, peer mathematics, and communication studies. Wow. And you are going to be who or what when you finish Harvard? A biomedical engineer. And that person does what? We uh, basically specialize in creating different medical devices and different equipment that is used in the medical field. So different equipment that you see in the hospitals or even creating artificial organs or different chemicals for different drug therapies and such. That's basically what we do. But you don't want to be a doctor? No. So why, why that field? Why that field? Well... I do enjoy problem solving and engineering has a lot of that and also has a lot of hands-on projects and research and I realize that's what 
fascinates me the most, and I would want to be more in that part. Fantastic. When you finish Harvard, you're heading back here, or are you going to stay, stay away for a little while? Or what? I do plan to head back here. You do plan to, yes, which would suggest that you're not too certain if you No, will. I'm very certain. I'm very certain. Yeah? Yeah. Um, how did this feel, um, mm -hmm. your Harvard? Full ride, by the way, full and a full ride. ride would be tuition. Tuition, boarding, health insurance, uh, other expenses, all of that. Oh, fantastic. How how your parents feel about this? I think mm -hmm. Daddy is here somewhere. Yes. Yeah? Can somebody bring Daddy around and have, have a chat with Daddy? We don't have to come and sit, but if Daddy is here, can you bring him around? How how the parents feel about that? They're excited, as expected, over the moon. But just... were, were they surprised at all that you did so well? But you've been, no. I, I suspect you've been doing this yeah. well, coming all the way Definitely. up, right? Yes, <sighs> You do any sport? Dance is my sport. You still dance? Yes, I do. What kind of dance are you talking about here now? Contemporary, you do this like a full up sting where you put up your foot all about the place. Like, well, I do some of that. I do a lot of genres, so folk, jazz, pop, hip hop, modern contemporary. There's praise, there's even dancehall and reggae. I do a little of everything. And you sleep from about 11.45 to about 11.51, right? Because <laughs> you do so much to get, you don't get no more sleep. <laughs> you sleep I get my sleep. Yeah? I get my sleep. Yeah? Ah. Wow, is that the family right there I'm looking at? Yes. Tell me who's who and who. Okay, so that's my dad on the... Yeah? There's only yeah. one man there, so I suspect <laughs> it is the dad, yeah? And, and mom and... Yeah? Dad and mom at the end, and then in between them, those are my two younger sisters. Two younger sisters? Yes. Oh, fantastic family. They must be, as you said, over the moon. moon yes. Yeah? When do you leave? I leave in August. Wow. So how does the school feel about it? Because you are doing something for the school mm -hmm. also. Yeah. I mean, to, to whichever school you went to, but in mm -hmm. this case, Immaculate, um, they must be really very, over the moon also. Yeah, they're very excited and just really proud of me and all that I've been able to accomplish. And it's just really a nice atmosphere. Whew. Best subject? Favorite subject? Mathematics. That don't surprise me. <laughs> Why you say that? Eh? Why did you say because that? Because only bright people say them things there. My brother teaches math, I think. Mm -hmm. And my brother actually went to Howard. I think he's the greatest teacher in our world. But I can count past about five. One plus one. Eleven. Oh, my. Oh my. <laughs> one plus two. And that, that, and that, that, and that, that don't scare people. Up, yeah. People say, Uncle never <laughs> did know that. <laughs> oh, boy, I am so impressed with you. Mm -hmm. I pray that everything that you want in life, you will achieve. I think you have achieved most of what you um, mm -hmm. would have wanted to achieve. Anything you think you, you wanted to do so far that you haven't done yet? No. So you have accomplished everything you've set out well, to, to do. do yes. What will you have to give up when you go to Harvard? I suspect, are you going to try mm -hmm. to continue dancing? Do, do no, I'm definitely going to still do dancing. I even am in the process of auditioning for their dance team right now, actually. Already? Yeah. Wow. How do you feel the step up from a cape to a Harvard University will be? What, what, what kind of gap you think, or do you think it's just a natural progression from CSEC, Cape, and Harvard? Why not? I don't think it would be that much natural, especially since the American syllabus and their way of teaching and learning is quite different from what we're used to here in the Caribbean. So I think it will take some adjusting and some changing in order to be able to adapt to their style of learning. And you don't seem to be nervous at all. You no. look like you're looking forward to yes. this. You can't wait to reach there. Can't wait. Ah, regular degular. <laughs> Did she give me the word there? As bright as she should come up with this word, degular. She make a word about us. Look after yourself. Mm -hmm. um, protect yourself. Be safe. And yeah. just continue to, to, to thrive and continue to do what you've been doing. Definitely. Um, no politics or anything. No, you don't want to be the prime minister or anything like that. No. For some reason, it don't look like you. It's, that, it's almost <laughs> like you, you feel like, well, now that you ask, maybe I might think about it. I mean, well, I'll my options open. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the future prime minister. Here she is. Great to meet you. God bless you. Thank you. And say hi to your family. I know Thank your dad you. is around, so tell him, tell him hi for us also. Definitely. All right? Her name is Zaria Ferguson. Remember the name. Immaculate Conception High School student, Harvard student. Well, maybe not yet, but pretty soon. All right? Again, protect yourself. Thank you. I love you, man.